Well, you've all seen those articles in magazines, Miracle Cures, Get Rid of Fat Forever, but can you really believe the hype? Well, our very own Dr. Lauren Stryker is here to tell us, should we believe that headline? Good morning. Good morning. So glad to have you here. Do you read those articles? Oh my God, yes. All the time. And yeah, I should be reading Newsweek, I should be reading my medical journals. <laughs> and then what happens, I'm in the office, I'm doing a pap smear, someone's telling me about her discharge, and I'm kind of looking over her shoulder at the magazine and thinking, whoa, that looks kind of interesting. I'm going to pick that up and leave and read it after she leaves. It's total guilty pleasure. And when I'm on planes, you know, I've got to put my Kindle away. Yeah. And I'm not a good flyer, so I'm figuring we're going to die anyway. I'm going to die reading Glamour magazine. So yeah, I do read that stuff. Plus, I want to know what my patients are reading, because they come in all the time and question. say, and they always start off by saying, did you know this is really new and of course it's never new and but I do want to know what they're reading so I can can respond to well, it why don't you say we get into it here's uh, here's some articles some okay. examples have you ever forgotten your tampon this was an there's an app out there and this there's is an, in glamour there's an app for everything and there is a new app that I swear to God I couldn't make this stuff up it gives you a text message saying take out your tampon now which is okay if there's, you know, the people that are going to forget their tampons aren't using them anymore. They've got Alzheimer's already. <laughs> but, but be that as it may, I mean, yeah, you should change your tampon. But what I don't like about this is it's this scare tactic that the reason you need to do this is because you're going to drop dead of toxic shock syndrome if you don't take, and it says it right on the app. This is to prevent toxic shock syndrome. And the truth is, is toxic shock syndrome is incredibly rare. More cases than not have nothing to do with tampons. It's kind of a leftover from the 70s. So it's kind of silly because it makes people like, oh my God, I'm in the middle of this meeting. I have to stop right now mm -hmm. and take out my tampon. But yeah, there was a big article about it. You know, keep in mind, these articles aren't so much a way to get good medical information. The, the magazines, they want you to pick it up. They want to get a buzz going. It's a headline, and that's mm -hmm. why you have to read carefully. I had this... Um, and I get asked to comment on this stuff all the time and right. to do interviews. So yesterday, this reporter calls me and she says, we want to interview you. We're doing a big article. Did you know that if you put Monistat on your head, it will make your hair grow faster? <laughs> what? And I said, really? Really? So I said, let me call you back. So of course, I'm thinking, maybe there's something I don't know. You know, I don't know yeah. everything. So I search the scientific literature and I call her back and I said, you know, there's no science behind that, and you really shouldn't put the monastery for your you know what, know what yes. on your head. And, and she said, no, really, it works. So I can guarantee you that there will be a big article out on this magazine oh, about it, and they probably will quote me as saying that there's no scientific evidence, but then they're going to quote 20 other people that say, yeah, I put the monastery on my head, and it made my hair grow, and people are going to be talking about it, and at the end of the day, that's what they want. They right. want to get people talking about this Right, stuff. well, that's why we got you yeah, here, yeah, to give everybody yeah. a heads up. Let's talk about this next one, the artificial butter flavor that makes popcorn so buttery. And this was also an article in Glamour. In Glamour, yeah, this month's Glamour. And what they say is that there's this little additive that has been found to potentially increase your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Now, this is really scary. Yeah. So is this real? Well, no, if you read further past the headline, in between the lines, it says that there's this little ingredient that if you eat the equivalent of like 12 bathtubfuls of popcorn every day, that maybe, mm. maybe it may be associated because of, you know, 12 other little associations. So does it get you to read it? You bet. Right. But the, the point or the takeaway could be from this is to read don't eat further. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Not that one, but read further into the and, article. But Just don't but, go but by see, you know, The other thing is about these articles, if they don't do any harm, it's like, okay, it's fun, you get a little buzz going, you talk about it, but some of these articles have you buy products or do things that really aren't going to be useful. Okay. Like they're, you know, the cellulite. We always talk about cellulite. Oh. There was an article. I forgot which magazine. That's we're going to get to that kind of policy because yeah. we don't yeah. want to seem like we're beating yeah, yeah, yeah. up glamour. But no. let's talk about this new other article that has a headline about sex in your period in oh, Self right, Magazine. Right. This is an article that I was actually interviewed for and declined to comment. And then I came across it yesterday when we were looking for stories for this. And it's on every day of your period of your cycle. There's something about that day that's going to influence sex in one way or another. So, for example, did you know, okay. did you know, little known no scientific me. fact, mm -hmm. that when you are ovulating, releasing an egg mid-cycle, that you walk differently, a little more slowly, to attract men so they will mate with you? <laughs> this is what's in that article. Uh, and, they, and, and when I read this article, I thought, oh, yeah, a reporter did call me about that a few months ago. And I just said, are you kidding? And then they went to another gynecologist who 
confirm the, that? Evidently. But, but that's not true, though, right? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I just want to double, triple check. Maybe you're walking slowly because you forgot to take your tampon off because you didn't have a tampon. Or because you're, you're walking slowly because you're tired. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Well, now let's get to the cellulite one because you're okay. right. I mean, there are Everybody tons of articles cellulite. out there. Yeah, that they get rid of cellulite. This is a multi-million-dollar industry to get rid of cellulite. You think it was brain cancer? The way that you know, there's articles constantly. I mean, everyone has cellulite. Cellulite's just fat that's gotten a little bit lumpy, a little bumpy because it's not distributed evenly. And what's going to make someone get cellulite is first of all, sadly, genetics. Blame your mother. Mm. Um, but also how much fat there is. So the only way to reduce cellulite, not get rid of it, reduce it is to lose weight, to get rid of the fat. But you wouldn't think that looking in every single woman's magazine out there, because there are, you know, creams, products rubs, and creams and rubs and treatments. people, and there's stories, stories of people who spend thousands of dollars when they should be going to the gym and eating less, and they're doing all these procedures to get rid of cellulite. So read the headlines, have fun with them, but don't act on them and read a little more closely. Right. Thank you, you Dr. Lauren Stryker. Great segment.